Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning show. Good morning, Andy. Good morning. Back to school after uh, nearly a week of finally, no school. Finally, yeah. finally, and uh, some people, maybe my child on the way to school, was confused because <laughs> the roads were worse, Dad, than yeah, they were well, the last couple days. We, but uh, we got you to school, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, 20 degrees right now, wind chill 12. Big improvement from yesterday. But we've got snow, uh, an inch or two today, tonight, and another inch or two tomorrow, Friday. But it um, should be clear and uh, normal for the weekend, and then rain by Tuesday. I don't like rain. Let's, uh, let's go out to Tina and see how it looks right now on top of the Tina can. Good morning, it's Tina at Hometown Heating, Cooling and More. Look how beautiful downtown Jackson is, coated in a fresh blanket of snow. I don't know how Tina continues to go up there without a winter coat, <laughs> but she's tough, very tough. It does look beautiful covered in snow. It does. She's right. It's a winter wonderland. Winter wonderland. Mm -hmm. Well, I think uh, the whole state is uh, excited about Sunday's playoff game. Oh, I thought you were going to say something about the income tax rollback. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Lions. Mm -hmm. uh, it turns out that the soundness, the sound level, the decibels mm -hmm. at Ford Field last Sunday mm -hmm. set a record. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And the Lions are favored? They are favored. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited for the game. It will be played Sunday at 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm very excited. Are you nervous? Not as much as last week. I think winning the first uh, playoff game is probably more significant than winning the second one. Well, uh, you're right because yeah. you have to. You have to win that. If you if you don't win that game, then you don't break the streak. Right. I just feel like if the Lions, you know, a great win uh, last week against former Lion Matthew Stafford. I feel like if they have a letdown against Baker Mayfield and the Bucks, a team they beat earlier in the year, it's it's going to feel it's going to feel terrible. Every time I hear Baker Mayfield's name, I picture the boxer. Baker Mayfield? Yeah, there's a Baker. There's a boxer Mayfield. Are you Is talking it? about Evander no. Holyfield? No, there is a, there is a Mayfield. Look at Tommy up. Hearns. The uh, tickets could cost you as much as twelve thousand oh, dollars for Sunday. Geez. Yeah. 12 grand. Mm, the wow. cheapest uh, right now on Tick Pick, uh, standing room, $739. Now, here's so. why I don't do that. Because I am afraid that I would do that and then the team would lose. And then I'd spend all that money going to a loss. So mm -hmm. I just choose not to go. I agree. And standing, you know, I think I'd stand. I would stand. Like, uh, I'm not worried about that. Like, the standing room, I don't care. Like, I would do that. You would love a seat. No, people don't use the seats anymore at a concert or at a game or anything. They don't sit down mm -hmm. anywhere. Well, what about Mamma Mia the other night? They didn't sit down. So you, you sat while everyone was standing? No, everyone stood toward the end and then they stayed stood. So you stood but didn't dance or sway? No, the people behind me, I can tell, I can feel their eyes you could piercing holes smell. in the back of my head. Smell, you could smell them? <laughs> no, I know they're mad because I'm tall and they're, I'm blocking. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's tough going to a show. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a great night at Concord last night. You know, I've been on a lot of teams. Our production team, mm -hmm. best team I've ever been on, so hands too. down. No mm -hmm. doubt. That was us leaving. Um, gosh, it was so cold yesterday. So cold, but the team did a wonderful job. Thanks to Concord High School for hosting us. Oh, you were working the game? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can't you see? You can, if you look closely, you can see the light on my heated vest. Oh yeah. Uh, we had a great time in the booth, the three of us, and then uh, everyone uh, in the gym did a wonderful job. It was a great team effort. Uh, so fun to be a part of that group. It's really cool. And we had. Uh, Player from Concord, Makai Wingfield, he needed 33 points to score 1,000 career points. He had 34. Oh, wow. So it happened. Awesome. Yeah, it was great. So mm -hmm. great to see that uh, on JTV. The uh, next uh, location telecast featuring the new JTV Sports mobile unit will be at the Optimus Dice Arena 
live high school hockey. The time is actually uh, 5 15. Yeah, the time, yeah, five, we'll be live around 5 15. 5 15. The game starts at uh, 5 30, so disregard the time on your mm -hmm. screen. Thanks to uh, Avenue Auto. Also, um, helping us bring you these hockey games, I'd like to thank uh, Ford Kennedy Painting. IST, Summit Heights Dental, and our neighbors across the street, Murphy's Bistro. Thank you uh, to those businesses for helping bring high school hockey on JTV, along with Avenue Auto, M&K, MidMichigan Trailer, and more. It's likely that the uh, ice arena will be packed to the rafters for mm -hmm. the uh, Lemon Christie Jackson United game. And one special reason, a lot of uh, folks will be going in support of United player Jacob Burbank. Jacob uh, is battling cancer, and Jeff Steers wrote about him, talked to his family. He's a sophomore at Western High School. He's halfway through chemotherapy, and he has a tumor, and there's uh, likely a, an operation that will happen this spring. But he had some pains at a uh, Recent. hockey, hockey yeah, game last, last month. And they took him, and they found it was cancer. Yeah, uh, a very rare to, cancer, unfortunately. Prayers to him and his family, and uh, yeah, there, so there will be a fundraiser uh, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, so let's make sure that you and I get there and be a big part of that fundraiser. Yeah, buy the uh, bracelets. There's also a GoFundMe for the family, and you can get a link on our uh, homepage on the uh, story about uh, Jacob and our uh, wishes to yeah. Jacob and his family for. Uh, a complete and fast recovery. Yeah, check out JTV.TV. Jeff's uh, article is there. And again, you said it does have the link to the GoFundMe. And then mm -hmm. um, if you if you can get to the hockey game, there'll be opportunities to uh, show your support there as well. And we, we encourage you. The uh, other NFL note, surprisingly, uh, Mike McCarthy will return as Cowboys head coach next year. I'm very surprised it's at that. Stunner. I am very surprised mm -hmm. at that. So take that uh, job off of yeah, take that job uh, off. Jim so Harbaugh's thought, list. Well, he was never going to go to Dallas. Um, Bill Belichick, you know, we thought he was going to maybe go to Dallas. Mm -hmm. So where do you think Bill Belichick will go? Um, I think he's going to go to high school. He's going to go to high school. That's what I, school. I would do that. Yeah. If I was a, how many Super Bowls did he win? Six? Yeah. yeah, six. Just retire already. No, I would go coach high school because you know what? <laughs> Volunteer. Yeah, and then the parents, yeah. they can't say anything to you because you've won Super Bowl. So, like, what does Tom know whose yeah. son's a second-string quarterback, <laughs> right? That's what I would do. I would go coach high school football. That's what he should do. Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. And they wouldn't have to spend... Just kind of sunset into... Yeah, into, relax. Yeah, I would do that retire. as well. Retire. Take um, Aaron with you. Who? Aaron. Who's Aaron. The quarterback that won't leave. Aaron. 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 Aaron Rodgers? Aaron Rodgers. He plays for the Jets. Oh, you want him to I want take, him to Oh, you want him too. to coach high school football yeah. too. Oh, interesting. Uh, the Jackson College Sportsman's Banquet is coming up February 10th, and I would love for everyone to join me at this. This is one of my favorite events of the year. Mm -hmm. um, it's come as you are, a very casual event. If you have cowboy boots. If you have you say that. I, I didn't see a lot of cowboy oh, boots. Oh, yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. I wore just regular boots. But, There's um, the uh, hybrid um, work boot slash cowboy boot. We had, uh, Lucas, you'll see, he's wearing boots. Um, mm -hmm. Those are nice boots, but he they, they don't provide a lot of traction on a snow-covered gym floor, oh, we found fall? out. He didn't fall. We almost all fell once. <laughs> we almost all fell once. Lucas almost fell twice. Nothing but. slipperier than a gym floor. Yeah, and, uh, you know, seven idiots walking in and out of the gym covered in snow <laughs> back and forth, and we were surprised that we almost all fell. Winter. Oh, you know, in Kansas City, guess what happened after the... Uh, we need to talk about this the, Kansas the City peacock, deal. The Peacock Bowl. After the, you get through that, we need to talk about this crime scene situation. 69 people were hospitalized after the game with uh, hypothermia and frostbite. Okay. Did you hear what happened about the three guys that died? At Have you game? heard this story? No. no. In Kansas City, um, there was a, there was, you know, just like a watch party, like say me, you, Lucas, and Adam were watching the game together. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the guy's wives, they ne he never came home from the house. And so she went there, banged on the door, no one would answer. The homeowner was in there, the guy that they went there. Oh, I know she went around going. back, three dead bodies in the backyard. 
In the backyard? In the back on the porch, yeah. They were all the three friends. Carbon the, monoxide? How could it, I don't know how it could be carbon monoxide poisoning because the homeowner was still in the house and then the three by the three other folks were passed away dead outside on the outside. back deck. Yes. Sounds like murder. It does. It's the weirdest story. Mm. Um, it's been kind of being talked about for the last few days, but it's crazy. The one woman, she, her husband didn't come home from the party to watch the game. Where the heck are you? You're watching the Dolphins. So she goes like a, the day later, bangs on the door. And day later? Not the next day. You know, mm. it was a night game and saw a horrible scene in the backyard. Oh, no. Three dead bodies, including her husband. Crazy story, crazy story. Wow. Well, I'm sure you're gonna be following I that. I will be. Yeah. Yeah, I will be following that. Guess what? Uh, Michigan ended 2023. We are now another, another champion, mm. another champion in the United States. We are the nation's weed king. Michigan? Yes. Our, that's Cannabis industry sold nearly 3.06 billion in marijuana last year. That's $305 for every man, woman, and child in the state of Michigan. Do the schools get that money? I don't think so. They they, taxes. So you're telling me Michigan outsold California? Yes. No. Yes. There's no way. Mm -hmm. All right, we got yeah. a problem. We sold more weed than corn. What? Yeah. I don't understand how we sold more weed than California. People are smoking it. Have you been out on the roads? Yeah, I know, but the <laughs> amount of people in California. Per capita. Oh, it's per capita. Per capita. Well, there you go. It's yeah. per capita. It's per capita. per capita. Yeah. All right. Well, fine. Mm -hmm. We are weed sales in Michigan more than the gross domestic product of 51 nations. What's 10% uh, of that money, 10% of that dollar? It's, it's not, we don't get 10. No, we don't, but the state does. The state gets 73 million. Well, no, actually, uh, two. Is this 10%, right? 12%? I'm not sure, but the amount of taxes, $73 million more in taxes from marijuana than beer and alcohol and cigarettes combined. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Really? This is, that's unbelievable. True story. Unbelievable. Our show today brought to you by the Jackson YMCA. Right now you can join, now through the end of the month, zero dollar join fees. New year, better you. Get started at the Jackson YMCA. And remember their Wesley Street entrance is closed for the construction, so you have to enter off Franklin Street. And uh, the staff is there to welcome you. Things are going great at the Y. They'll have a uh, groundbreaking ceremony on February 8th. But work is already being done, and uh, it's a great environment. Mm -hmm. It's cool. It's cool over there. It's nice mm -hmm. uh, for the folks working out, getting to uh, see the construction happen. Uh, news out of Colorado. Um, folks in Mesa County bought a home on Pinion Avenue, and they were getting ready to move in. They were clearing out some stuff left behind. And in the uh, deep freezer in the uh, garage, in a plastic bag, a human head. A head? Yeah. Really? Mm hmm True story. Just as true as your Kansas City one. Well, that Kansas City story is, is true. It's this is true, too. It happened at 2.30 p.m. So tell me about this again. They bought a house. Bought a house, getting ready to move in, opened the deep freezer. I would the... probably talk to the listing agent <laughs> at that point. Yeah, I would um, ask for my money back. Yeah, actually, I would sue. It's hard to sell a house that's it's had a murder in it. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. You mm -hmm. don't say. I wonder if there's like a, some type of national registry of homes that where murders have been committed in. So like when you're home shopping, you know you know you can filter out those. <laughs> Let's get to our scoreboard brought to you by Extreme Dodge. Tons of high school sports. <laughs> going on last night. I told you, we had the fun one last night. Concord over Springport. Springport's gonna be very good. Actually, Concord, they, uh, both teams start freshmen. Springport starts three freshmen. They are gonna be very, very good uh, for the next few years. Concord's Mackay Wingfield hit the uh, 1,000 career point mark uh, in the game, 34 points. He was our Tri-County Water Player of the game. Is he a fifth-year senior? No. Oh. No, he's not a fifth-year <laughs> senior, but I tell you what, he's going to be an unbelievable Division One football player mm -hmm. uh, next year. He is uh, awesome. Hockey, Portage over Lumen Christie. Lumen will try and get back uh, in the wind column on Friday. 
uh, Spring Arbor took care of Bethel. You were out at the Jackson College games. A couple nice wins over Wayne mm -hmm. County community. Um, there were, uh, the, in the girls game, the defense for the Jets, amazing. Forced 42 turnovers yeah. by Wayne County. So, uh, yeah. very cool. Yeah, the Jets, they're on fire. They are. It's good basketball. Get out there and watch. Check it out. Here's what's coming up on deck. We've got some bowling, gymnastics, swimming. Jackson will host. Girls basketball, there's your slate. Jackson on the road at Huron for wrestling. And again, uh, tomorrow we will have high school hockey. Live coverage beginning around 5.15 from Optimist Ice Arena. We'll have Bloom and Christie and Jackson United. That's presented by Avenue Auto, Ford Kennedy Painting, Summit Heights Dental, IST, and Murphy's Bistro. Awesome. Who's on the show today? We have with us Jeff Bontrager, the superintendent of Northwest <laughs> Community Schools. He'll join us right after this.